It was just a mindset. Coach Sumlin told us, you know, if you're not convinced that we're going to come back and win this game, if you have any doubt at all, stay in the locker room. Don't come out. And we all came out with just that new mindset, and it's amazing. Man. We're just so proud, so so blessed, so humble to be on this team. How proud are you of this team? How much fight you guys showed tonight? Man, it's incredible to be down 38-17 where everything is a, it's against you when, you when your back's up against the wall and to, to fight and come out with a win like this. I mean, it's big. I probably know the answer to this already, but any doubt in your mind walking out of that locker room, you're going to win this football game? Man, we had a hard time in the locker room. We told ourselves, we was like, are we going to get embarrassed on national TV? Are we going to come out? Are we going to end 2013 on a bang? And that's exactly what we did. Finally, I know it's your last game at A&M. Uh, emotional for you, but what a special way to go out, isn't it? You know, I mean, to, to, for it to end 2013 like this, for this to be my last game at A&M, to end the way it did, I mean, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't write a, a better end to this book. All right, first off, walk me through that pick. Oh, man, uh, Coach Ladder dialed up a great play. Um, our front seven, you know, uh, they, they got the quarterback out of the pocket. I saw the ball leave his hand, and, uh, you know, everything after that was his history. How proud are you of this team for the fight they showed to be down so far and to come out of the locker room at halftime the way you guys did? A real man can face adversity and bounce back. The first half was totally adversity. And the second half, we bounced back, you know, and uh, we showed that, you know, we don't have to have a superhero, to, you know, come and win the game. Everybody stayed together and we fought to the end and we came out with the W. I know this game was special to you for a lot of reasons. You know, last one at A&M, how special is it to go out this way? Oh, man, it's a, it's a, it's a blessing. Uh, I've worked hard this entire season. And uh, to, to end it this way is just a blessing, you know. Uh, giving all props to my teammates, you know, for you to stand by my side throughout, you know, each and everything. And I love those guys. It's great to go out with the W. Going to Texas A&M, does this rival the best of them? Unreal. It's, it's not a feeling like this in the world. I couldn't be more proud to be a fighting Texas Aggie. Uh, I'll be that forever. No matter what my decision is, no matter what I decide here in the next few weeks. I love the school. I love this town. I love my teammates. I love everything about this university. Watching you on the sidelines, the comeback's going on. Everybody's elated, excited, yet you're kind of stoic and focused. What's going through you as you work back into the game? I was in a different zone today. I was in the zone that I haven't been in really before ever. Um, and uh, that's pretty much just it. I wanted this game more than anything, more than anything. Last question for you. I mean, I'm not going to ask you the decision, but what's big for you in these next few days? Who do you get with? Where's your focus line? Who helps you with this kind of decision? First and foremost, I get back and spend time with these guys. Um, and enjoy this this celebration. <laughs> Get back to College Station to celebrate that. Spend time with those guys, and then then I spend time with my family. And then and then um, I got a decision to make, and, and I haven't made it yet. Um, I'm living in the moment right now, and we'll see when we get to that point. I have until the 15th, so we'll see. Four minutes from New Year's on the East Coast. Happy New Year. Appreciate it.